The confusion over federal expanded unemployment benefits here in Indiana. So the payments are not going out despite a Marion County judge's order, and the state plans to keep fighting the payments in court. ITMH Richard Essex is digging for answers. Indiana opted out of the federal CARES Act unemployment benefits more than a week ago. The benefits added $300 a week on top of existing state benefits. And I'm told that turning the program back on isn't as easy as flipping a switch. For those trying to file for unemployment, the federal pandemic benefits are not an option. And payments under the program are not going out, even though a Marion County judge ordered the program to continue last Friday. As of last count, the state of Indiana has distributed more than $8 billion to 870,000 unemployed Hoosiers since the start of the pandemic. According to the Department of Workforce Development, 80% of the money is from federal programs. Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb told ITMate last week the state has programs to retrain displaced workers. We want to make sure they know there's an abundance of opportunity out there now in this new economy. Indiana Legal Services is representing a group of people that sued the state to reinstate the federal benefits. They sent a statement that says, The judge's order is clear. The state has an obligation to reinstate benefits. And filing an appeal itself does not change this obligation. We are waiting to hear from the state on how they plan to comply with the judge's order. We recommend people waiting to file for these benefits, keep a record of their work search history, and watch for more updates. IT Maid has learned that the state has filed an official notice of appeal asking a higher court to allow it to drop out of the expanded unemployment benefits program. The Department of Workforce Development declined to talk about the court's ruling on camera and issued a statement that says... DWD is determining how to proceed because the federal programs no longer exist after their termination on June 19th. There is no action that a claimant needs to take right now. Updated information will be provided on DWD's website. According to Dr. Matt Will of the University of Indianapolis, the judge's ruling creates some confusion on how and when states are allowed to walk away from CARES Act money. But if you look at the rules that are provided by the federal government, the CARES Act gives states the option to extend unemployment benefits. So it's up to the state whether they want to do it. There's a lot of different provisions. There's three major parts to it. And the one that's in question right now is the $300 per week. And that is up to the state whether or not they want to do that. The Department of Workforce Development can't tell us if past claimants can just pick up where they left off or if they need to reapply, nor can they tell us when the program will be available. The federal unemployment benefits program is scheduled to end at the end of September, and it is unclear whether the governor's appeal will be heard in court by the time the program ends. In Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.